All right, what's up, Gemini's? I'm Sid, and welcome to Savvy Sentient. This is going to be your December 2020 general reading, and this will also be the third time I'm trying to record your message. So I'm guessing maybe Spirit didn't want the previous messages. They have something more pressing that they like to tell you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If the message doesn't resonate, you may want to check your other placements to see if the readings for those messages resonate better. But let's get right on into your reading. All right. Spirit, what is it that you need Gemini to know? What is this reading going to be a reference to? What is this going to be in reference to? Walking away. There's something that has been revealed to you that you need to walk away from. Okay. Let's see what that is. Okay. Tell me about Gemini's recent past. Oh. What does Gemini need to walk away from? Tell me about her recent, his or her recent past. Tell me about Gemini's recent past. Too many. But I see it. Which Gemini need to walk away from? Wow. Maybe what did Gemini walk away from already? Okay. Okay, so in your recent past, you have the Two of Swords making a head over heart decision. You have the Wheel of Fortune, luck moving in your favor into the Nine of Pentacle, Pentacles. So it looks like in the recent past, you had to make a decision that was going to be for your greater good, and you chose independence. You chose to walk alone. All right. Tell me about Gemini's current situation. Six of Wands. You have victory. You might be feeling victorious in your independence. You definitely may have um, people watching you. Now that you're single again, you're being recognized in public. Uh, tell me about the near future. Near future for Gemini. Near future for Gemini. King of Swords. That is a truthful leader. He makes very uh, strategic decisions in the near future. You may be having to make a very strategic decision. Okay, let's clarify the present. What is the Six of Wands in the present? What's this victory about? What is this victory about for Gemini? Queen of Swords. <laughs> In the present, you are embodying this Queen of Swords energy. This is definitely Gemini energy. Um, the things that you have gone through have led you to a place of victory with the, with the um, Queen of Swords here. She's a woman who's been through a lot and is very compassionate. However, um, she makes decisions based on her <clears throat> things that she's experienced, but she does it in a compassionate, a compassionate way. Okay. Let me get one more card to clarify the current position. What is this victory? And now you're just waiting for your ships to come in. Yeah, with the three of wands. That's waiting. So, um, 
in the current position. Okay, well, let's just start from the beginning. In the past, you had to make a head over heart decision um, to have your luck turn in your favor. And you did that, and now you're independent. In the current position, you have victory. You are victorious uh, with your plans, your decisions that you made from the uh, past position. Um, you've let your experience uh, mold you to um, assist you in making more head over heart decisions. This is um, you coming from a place of being overly emotional to everything is very analytical and well thought out. And you're just waiting for your ships to come in. Um, what kind of ships? What are you waiting for? <laughs> well, you might be brainstorming. Okay, that's that can be conflict, but that can also be brainstorming, exchanging ideas. This might be in reference to um, work or business. You may have started something and you are exchanging ideas with friends, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting to see how all of this works out. Uh, tell me about the King of Swords and the near future King of Swords in the near future Tell me about the King of Swords in the near future Okay, that's a lot I'm Trying to come out and flip over Tell me about the King of Swords in the near future. Ooh. Come on, King of Swords in the near future. Oh, Two of Cups. This is a union. This is a partnership. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. But if it is love, you're not going into it lightly. This is something that you're... Putting a lot of thought into, you're being very, very analytical moving forward because in the present, you're the queen of swords. She's somebody who's been through some shit and she's not really with the shits. All right. Okay. Any more messages for Gemini? <laughs> okay. Wow. So we have here the star card and the magician. The star card is about healing. Okay. And you're manifesting here as well with the magician. So you may be manifesting healing, manifesting balance. This is a card of balance here with the star. And you're hopeful. Uh, this is in <laughs> reference to this union here. You're manifesting something solid, something that's going to be legit, something that's going to be healthy because you may have dealt with something that was not. And when it comes to your partnerships, you're going to put a lot of thought into who you give your time to. You may not have done that before, which is why you had to walk away from the past, from these cups. It wasn't serving you. Okay. All right. I feel like there's still more that needs to be said about your current position with these ships and this brainstorming. Like, what is this conflict? What are you waiting for? What is... <laughs> You're waiting for the one. You're waiting for something official. You're waiting for... This is a card of marriage, the Hierophant. Um, it represents a lot of things, but the way that your reading is going at this point, it looks like marriage is what you're waiting for. Um, 
And with the Five of Wands, I think the conflict is more so um, tossing around ideas about how to bring this forth. Okay. But when it does come, you're going to be very analytical about it. And you're manifesting this healing. And you're manifesting this union that's going to be beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some messages from the Monology deck. What messages do Gemini's need to hear? What messages does Gemini need to hear? <laughs> show the world the real you Gemini show the world the real you okay that's the full moon in Aquarius card let me give you some more information on that So full moon in Aquarius, show the world the real you. This card brings a message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length right now, but it's not a bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold in progress, even if change seems frightening, if the change seems like a frightening prospect. If you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, Gemini, are you being too aloof, too detached? Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. Additional meanings of this card is don't lose the beauty and romance of life. You are too much in your head. Get into your heart. A friend needs you. Be there for them. And the situation is going to take a very unexpected turn. Okay. So um, with all of these swords here and all of this analyzing. Um, I think with the Moonology card, the message that you should take away is that yes, please. Yes. As a Gemini myself, I will tell you, yes, analyze. Analyze these people who come into your life. But don't overanalyze them, okay? Um, don't don't make it all about your head. You you can invite your heart into your decisions a little bit too. And with the Queen of um, Swords, she is a compassionate queen, so she's not completely cold. But you know, let let a little bit of love in there. <laughs> make these decisions from a heart space as well as from your head space, okay? But this is a really beautiful reading. And um, I like it. <laughs> so if this reading resonated with you and you would like to dig deeper, uh, you can hit me up for a free reading. All the information, well, not a free reading, but for a, <laughs> a deeper reading. Um, yeah. And all that information is going to be in the description box below. But definitely a, a beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay, until the next time I see you, love and light and everything right, and I will see you in the next video, Gemini.